We got the uh, Craig Shoemaker audio from oh, yesterday to, to, oh, oh, yeah, we should, to mop that up. I, I'll say this. I went back and listened to, to the original broadcast because I had no memory of it. Yeah. The Olam apology? Um, you know, it was. I, I wasn't kind, but uh, of, let's see, it was me, Open Ant, and I'll say this. I was by far the kindest of the three. <laughs> I believe that. I did not bring it to the table. He had won some kind of a, an award. Well, that, he went and he attacked you, though, over that more than us. I, I didn't hear the audio. For the people, uh, let me just uh, set this up. So we, we found out that Craig Shoemaker went on another <laughs> radio show here at Sirius XM yeah. very recently. And did he talk about uh, he's not doing stand-up anymore? Was that true from the listener? He said, yeah, that he had retired. He retired from stand-up, right. and he points to Jimmy for the reason. He I said, uh, James so, Jimmy. Jim well, uh, chased him out of the business. So, oh, that's, so, that's so then we went back to go, what the hell was this all about? And then it turned out that, was it XM at the time, gave out some kind of comedy award for a bit? Yeah, yeah. It was in 2006. And, and they picked Craig Shoemaker's uh, The Love Master. Love Master. Love right. Master bit. And... Our whole take on it was, out of all the comedy bits out there, why would you pick this thing? Right. It, it's been very successful for Craig Shoemaker. It, it, uh, he sold a lot of merchandise by coming up with the Love Master and all that. Right. But we weren't like personally attacking him. I, I thought it was more like, why would they pick that out of all the bits you could pick? Yeah, and I my take on it was, I, if what I remembered, I didn't know Craig at all, I still don't know him, was that he was really down on guys that were... Not clean. That was what I knew about him. If, oh, if really? I remember. Yeah. But again, oh. that may even been what I was told and wasn't even true. Oh. I had no personal experience. Okay. But because uh, I remember I, listening to this yesterday, a lot of my thing was talking about the clean angle that he was taking on it. But uh, I even said during this thing, like, hey, look, I'm not saying he's not a funny guy. I don't know what his act is because I really didn't know what his act was. But I didn't like that bit. But I was by far the kindest. Mm -hmm. You and Aunt were brutal. I was like, I was not nice, but right. I was not brutal. Right. I'm with uh, Jimmy. I don't know his act. I know that bit, and I never liked it. And that's all I know about yeah. Craig Shoemaker for real. Part of it might be that he hears the three voices and he can't distinguish every voice. He, he might have attributed a few comments to me that didn't <laughs> belong to me. But you that know happens what all the time. Remember that guy, Anthony said something about some guy and the guy called in and threatened me. Right. Anthony said something to the guy and the guy's like, Norton, you're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wanted to tattle on him. I'm like, the guy who said it's right here, dummy, and he's got a gun. I didn't say it. <laughs> well, um, because you're a stand up. Maybe that's why he went for you. He, I, I don't that's blame him, to be honest. I don't blame him for being pissed. So Craig is mad at me still. Oh, I, guess. Yeah, so I, I don't blame Craig for being mad, though. I, I mean, I would be fucking pissed if I was him, too. So remember all the stuff we said about uh, Craig Shoemaker to set this up. So we found the audio of him <laughs> on uh, what, what show? John Fugel saying. Craig Shoemaker was on his show, I guess, last week. And now we finally got the clips from uh, the discussion here. Uh, oh. Apparently, comics don't badmouth other comics in the public square. Ah, uh, no, happens a lot. If they're famous, they will, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, happens you know, you're, a lot. You're very well known and respected in the business. Well, so, I mean, then I have a feeling my less than guy says, no, I'm not right. respected because, right. oh, I'm getting, I'm adding joy to my act, or I'm right. hacky, or I do right. impressions, or I do the love master, talks about his dick, all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> so this is actually also related to XM. I'll tell you what happened. So I, I hate admitting this because people are going to go running because we love the negative, we love the accident. But I'm going to say it anyway. I saw something posted, and I said, don't go there. And it said, so-and-so uh, trashes comedian Craig Shoemaker. And I went there to listen to what they said. And this is years ago. This is like 2006. Do you want to say who it was? Or are you gonna... I don't right now, but you can tell me if you really want to hear it. So I, I wanna, see yeah, it, I hear and it. then there's a comic on the show, and they're replaying the Love Master bit, right? And the Love Master bit, it's like... It's I, on a radio show? This is on a radio show. So someone's playing your album and then riffing on what you, on your act. Right, because I had just won this huge award from, from XM. Right. The best comedian, best bit, whatever. It wasn't a huge award. Huge award? Oh, God, I mean, well, it's still, you know... I mean, I, he's I mean, it's nice and all that you got yeah. an award, whatever, but... Uh, it's a purple Comedian, heart. best bit, whatever it was. And they had called me, and I, I smelled a rat. I smelled like... They're not calling me to have me as a guest like you are with respect. They're calling me because they think I'm a jackass and stupid and hacky, right. and they want to just bring this out in, the, in me. And I, you know, I'm smart and enough. Haters to smell gonna it. hate, right? I'm smart enough to get it. You know, so haters are gonna Told hate. me, I called the producer back and I said, if that's what it is, and they never called me back. So, all right, I'm gonna start. You're you're not that smart because uh, there has ha, have been times over the years that's the definitely the reason why we want to get you on the show. And then we have a discussion and everything turns. Right. 
He thinks it's uh, set up the whole time. He like might have him. been right. I, again, I don't remember the lead up to it. I have no memory of the lead up to it. Right. But he may have been right. That may have been the motive for getting that him on. That was probably the motive to possibly get him on, you know, to start with. But then over the years, we've, you know, Joe Pitts, I mean, there's a whole bunch of guys. Then you have the discussion. And you're like, oh, God, we're idiots. And, you know, it turns out great for everybody. Right, right. And right, I, by right, the way, I never right, said he was, I never used the word hacky. During that whole thing. Never. He's saying, you said that and Ann said that, but I never said he was a hack. I never said it was uh, hacky, except for the one line, the Chinese arithmetic line. But I never said he was a hack. Okay. And then it continues. And this guy, the, <coughs> he was going off on me, you know. And he, they totally weren't getting that. If I do a dick joke as a love master, it's a character that developed mm -hmm. because of my pain of my past of losing out to guys who were jerk-off Lotharios. Exactly. So he's a joke on that, but they're not getting it. They're and by the way, you know, if you if some hipster comic who hates that bit has never seen that bit live, because I've just seen you crush huge yeah. rooms with that bit. Well, it's incredible. Then again, though, the more you crush, the more they hate. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so anyway, so he's, he's saying these things, and I am just boiling. <laughs> and you talk about it non-spiritual. I wanted to hurt him. I wanted to physically hurt him. Yeah. And I was brought up a very short and small guy. And as you know now, I'm a big guy. Yeah. And I've learned how to fight. And I learned how to fight as a little guy. Now I can really kick some And this is years later guy. you're feeling all this. Oh, yeah. And that rage gives this you just, cancer. This, no, this is one year ago. Okay. This is one year ago. So I'm feeling this. And I am telling you, I wanted to hurt him. And I hate that I wanted to hurt him. Ugh. Well, I'm not happy about it either. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't blame him. I mean, if I heard that, you, you can only just chalk it up to that was so many years ago, dude. And right. I'm not, you know, whatever. There's no excuse for it. It's like, I feel bad about it because it's like, I don't like to badmouth other comedians. Right. And it just got brought to the show and I never heard the bit. <laughs> but there was points where I said, like, I've never, I've seen the rest of this guy's act. Like, I didn't know anything about, but why would that stop you from performing? I don't know. You got on, under right? his skin. There's one more clip. You yeah. know, I, we can't argue the fact that the bit crushes. It just, yeah. right. it's, it's not our taste. That's right. why we went after it. Right. You know, knowing all our guys and all their really funny bits, you know, didn't win. And that was the one XM picked. I think we're making more fun of XM going, why would you pick this over? Uh, in a way, in a way, yeah, kinda, Jimmy kind of Kanye them. It was like what Kanye did to. It's like, look, you had a great uh, run, you had a great video, but. Yeah. I think something else should have won. It was dicky, though, I mean, on my part, to, to, to chime in on that, another comic. The only thing I can think of as to why I would, like, you know, I always avoid fucking with other comedians. I just don't like doing that. Right. Is uh, It was 2006. It was like the whole dirty, clean thing used to drive me crazy. Right. By then, I, had, I hadn't even shot for HBO. I had done basically very little at that point, stand-up-wise. I'd done a couple of CDs, but like most of the stuff I was going to shoot was in the next few years. So maybe I had a hard-on for guys who I thought looked out on comics that were dirty. Right. Um, but that was still, it still just wasn't nice. Right. I shouldn't have done it. Well, let's see how he wraps it up here. I swear to you, I'm walking to work with this feeling, and I'd never met this comedian, and there he is at the rival club. There's a <laughs> sign that says he's there. And I was compelled to go in and beat... I was going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy he didn't do that. <laughs> now he's being funny. <laughs> <laughs> More Holy. of this, Craig. More of this. <laughs> you get under people's skin. That I would get, admire it. That would get under anybody's skin, though. Yeah, that, I, yeah man. It's yeah. like. Uh, but you. Jimmy's saying that he wasn't even that bad in the clip. Compared to what me and Anthony were no, doing. No, I, I right. think there were probably a few things that were said that he attributed to me. I was more reacting. But um, he probably also took it a lot more oh, personally course, from absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yes. You're a comic. You're a comic. Absolutely. Right. I don't, and again, what can I say? I don't blame the guy. But how could that... Wow. You know? But I, again, what can I say? He's right. I need to be wow. pissed off. Wow. You were close to getting a beating. Oh, that would have been oh. awful. Me having no idea. Cause I, dude, until this got brought up, I had no memory... None. That it happened. <laughs> He's talking about this eight years later. Yeah, eight we years forgot later. all about it. Probably, probably a day yeah. to two days later, we probably even forgot that we even did that. It was just something that Thanks got lot, done on that. the air. But it um, stuck with him. It yeah. stuck with him. Well, he just he just heard it last year too. Yeah, <sighs> get out of him. And that's the moment that I said I'm not doing stand up anymore. Uh, that was that's just stupid. Yeah, that's sad. That that's doesn't sad. make sense to me. Yeah, because if you got your audience and it's not our cup of tea, so be it. Who cares? Yeah, you said on this show that the bit crushes. Yeah, and people, you know, you have your audience, and then continue. Maybe in his own life, he was already at a fork in the road. That's what I'm thinking. And Jimmy hit him in the head with a rock. <laughs> that's what I'm. <laughs> but thinking. I threw the rock. And he was like, "Fuck it." I threw the rock <laughs> eight years ago. Right. Not even you know, it's it's a rock I wish I hadn't thrown. Right. Just honestly, because I don't like to fuck with. 
comedians that just me you know, either, I, I, I always like kind that. of avoid that yeah um and that was just one day something got brought up and i should have probably been not a dick about it so you should call our show nobody's perfect we can have a discussion about this yeah but why would you stop doing stand-up because of what some well, dumb i mean i know why he'd be mad at me and say fuck jim norton right and i know why he'd have that instinct to want to punch me in my fat face but why stop your own thing well, because of something I've, I've had guys bad mouth me before and i do know that as a comic, it hurts more than other comedians badmouth you. It just feels it does violating. Yeah, mm -hmm. like when guys who are in your group, it's like we got to deal with enough shit from the audiences, right? Being dicks and talking and ordering drinks, and the employees at the clubs and shit like that. We already got to deal with without don't wanna... someone who understands the fucking game, right? Being a cocksucker about it, right. exactly. So him being pissed off at me is totally understandable. But why would you stop what you're doing? It's like, and I even said again, I re-listened to this clip. He had a following, man. It wasn't like he was back then. He was definitely. I looked at him as a much bigger comedian than myself in 2006. No he had a following. He was not mm. some guy who wasn't working. But that's his problem that he decided to stop stand-up. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it that's is. That's ridiculous. Let's let's continue here. Not doing stand-up. That was the moment I went on stage that night and announced, I'm done. Craig, you're you're such an inspiration and a hero to so many comics. And you know those guys are punks. And, uh, I, and I don't by the way, I re whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, shots fired. Whoa. Well, Jay, <laughs> we got a radio. Cool. That's not cool. Radio. Well, <laughs> John's hey, defending, hey. defending his friends. <laughs> Shots fired. Fair hey. enough. Radio war. Radio war. You guys should quit radio. Whoa. We're punks. Do you know what a dick I would have felt like if Craig Shoemaker walked in and I had no memory? And I was like, oh, hey, man, nice to meet you. And my teeth just got knocked out. Like, that would have sucked. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> because it would have been unexpected. Uh, that would have been great. <laughs> For what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jimmy's beating around the bush. No, I'm not. How am I beating around the bush? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. We haven't taken a call from Syracuse sure. in a while. Andrew, what's going on? Hey, good morning, guys. Hi, good morning. Andrew. Yeah, I just wanted to bring up the fact that it, it sounds like Jimmy, he does regret it, and it, it sounds sincere. Uh, why doesn't Jimmy just apologize? Maybe, maybe that's what's going to happen at the end of because this. Because I don't know. To We're be still in the middle of uh, talking about yeah, it. Yeah, how am I beating around the bush? I've said. No, <laughs> beating around the bush was the wrong thing to. Yeah. Right but it got there. you on the air, it though, so clever. Like, right. well, no, I'm just trying to say it sounds like you're doing everything but actually saying sorry. Because to be honest, if I had a discussion with him, maybe I would, because I really did badmouth the guy. Um, but then I'm like, well, I was stating an opinion at the time to something I was hearing. I didn't say he was a bad comedian, because I really didn't. I didn't say he was a hack. I right. never used that word. Right. Um, but, you know, eh, maybe I do own one. All right. Thank you for the call, Andrew. I don't think he'd even want it, but I don't like the fact that he heard that and it affected his stand-up. It's like, come on, dude. That's nuts. Yeah, that's just... I've had my feelings hurt, and I've been angry at what people said. Me too. Yeah. And I've been mad at what people said. Yep. And, but you, why would you let that affect what you're doing? Like... You know, you don't need, even if I'm being a jerk off, fuck me. It's like you had a following. It's like people go to see you. Yeah, right? and you know, you got your people. Absolutely. You'll always have uh, haters and. He was whatnot. going through his own shit, I'm but, sure. Maybe. But as long as you know you got your people, that's that's what continues to motivate you. He should have continued. It sounds like he had his audience. I'm it sure. It was just a different audience than what we were into. I'm sure the same thing you guys were saying about his jokes. Yeah. He said to himself, uh, himself a million times. See, my, my, I remember like listening to the thing. It was getting again. It kept being the clean angle. Like he was going for the clean lines, right? And maybe I was wrong. Maybe he hadn't fucking bagged on dirtier comedians. But there, were, from what I remember, just listening to this, I was like, I think there was something, but he didn't like clean cop, and that might even be bullshit. I just don't remember. Let's uh, get to the end of this clip. Oh, those guys are punks, and uh, I. And I don't by like the way, I, re I recovered from the injury, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one thing to see an artist rap to to see a comic go after a celebrity, but to go after another artist is petty, and it makes you look petty and small, and that kind of hate it doesn't succeed. Do you want to know who it was? Yeah, yes, was it? the earlier. Yeah, the earlier. Yes. Sure. If you want to take a guess, no. He's a he's a very very less well, than a minute. He's so. not only well known, but he's respected and ah. loved. If you don't want to say, from you don't the say it. Jim Norton. Oh, oh, Jim Norton. Oh, 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 name and names. Name and names. Name and names. Oh. Radio. <laughs> it's going down. Motherfucker. You're going to be paying names. attention to this broadcaster, Sam Roberts. But, you know, like, like Start John. shit like this. Jo John said something about, like, if you're going after a celebrity, and I know what he means by that. But again, you have to realize, John, this was eight years ago. Right. Where I had shot one thing, um, you know, I, I was not doing as much as I'm doing now. Right. Um, and I didn't look at Craig like he was some lower comedian. I right. looked at Craig like he was higher on the ladder than I was. And, and, and 
our motivation was simple. They're giving the award to this bit, and we had... I mean, our stable was unbelievable. Yeah. Bill Burr, yeah. Louis C.K. was doing our show regularly yeah. at that point. Patrice O'Neill was yeah. still alive. Bob Kelly, Jim Norton. Who am I missing? Yeah. Voss. I mean, you could... Well, you could... <laughs> No, there's a whole bunch of names. In there. I agree. So I we're agree. thinking, what? Out right. of all the guys that we know and their bits, they pick this. That's all we were saying. That's yeah, why but, comedy awards are tricky. And I, I comedy awards do comedy stink, awards. but it was still like and there, there was, was no reason for for it to go like that. I can only say what my part of it was. And as a comic, I shouldn't have participated in that. Right. And it's something like hearing that, I regret it. And there's right. a, there's always been a line with our radio show over the years, like. Uh, clean comedy and dirty comedy. Right. Because those two sides seem to fight it out every once in a while. And we had like a Brian Regan, you know, squeaky clean. He worked on our show, but a lot of those clean guys never worked on our show for whatever reason. Right. It was really, you know who was to blame here? XM. No. But you can't blame the dude who got the award. He didn't right. put the whole oh, shit yeah, together. Of course. Yeah. of course. Whoever gave the award out, you start shit. He was just doing a bit that he had been doing, which had worked really well for him, and people went to see, you know, so it's like. Mm. I just, you know, whatever. You hear if they wouldn't have given him an award, he'd still be doing a bit. Right. If he was an actor, if he was an actor and I had bashed his movie, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I mean, you know, you never want someone to know you bashed him, but it's like, right. it, it is what it is. But now I just kind of feel bad about it, like it's a fellow comic, and it's like, it, oh. it affected him, and it right. shouldn't have. Let's get to the end of the clip. Dave and Zito, stay in the line. I'm going uh, to you next, but first this. Jim Norton. Oh, Jim Norton. And it was on, wow. it was on Opie and Anthony, and it's a... Uh, <laughs> I, I suspected it was an Opie and Anthony kind of show. That this was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, I've never been on their show and never met the guy, but I got to tell you, I forgave him, and I released it, mm -hmm. and I took care of my business. Craig, you really retired? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's on you. That's, you heard it saying yeah, that's on you. I don't think it's because of Jim Norton, I think... No. I think there, like you said, there were other things going on in his head, and maybe yeah. this was the catalyst to finally say, you know what, fuck it. He may yeah. have had some thoughts already, but it's like I, I don't want to be the fucking guy who pushes. Like a guy's having that decision process. I don't want right. to be the fucking the reason that that happens. Unless it's boss. Yeah, well, the, uh, boss, I've been sending anonymous <laughs> letters to. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna have to hear from Voss. The only, the only thing surprised I can, he hasn't texted me already. The only thing I'm grateful for is that that was a long time ago. It was, it was, it was something I wouldn't do now. I think it was 2006. It was. It was December 11th of 2006. So that's nine wow. years ago. Well, eight years ago. Eight and, and it affected eight and him last year because he just heard it though. Wow, just heard it. Uh, let me say hi to Dave in Michigan. Dave, go ahead. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. Um, the guy's last album, Craig Shoemaker's last album, was called. Attitude. He was doing it to himself. He was. He, <laughs> well, he, he, go ahead. Sorry. But, oh, he, 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 it was. Uh, he was probably running out of that clean uh, material, and it, and it was shit anyway. It, was, it wasn't anything. But you know, you know what, dude? It was like at that point, because um, you know, again, everyone knew who the guy was. I was probably jealous of the fact that he was really successful and a respected road act, and he was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and even if attitude is not something that, like that is my style. Um, you can express that you don't, you know, dig something without being a, a, I was just a dick about it, and, and I wish I wasn't a dick about it. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy. maybe there was an audience for Dattitude, I don't know. Zito in uh, Staten Island. Zito. Hey, good morning, fellas. Good morning. How you doing? All right. Fan, big fan. But, but I just want to say, you know, hearing your words, I'm hearing a lot of regret, and at the end of the day, you are not responsible for anybody else's feelings. They can't take a joke. Yeah, but you know what, dude? I, I know what you're saying technically, but I wasn't joking. And as a comic, I understand why that would bug the guy and it, or, or hurt him. And it's just, it would hurt me too. And it was just hearing it yesterday. There were certain things that were said that I was grateful I didn't say. But I was like, <laughs> there were certain things I said. I was, I was like, you dummy. Right. Shut up. I was really, I was annoyed at myself. Um, because he hadn't done anything to me. And I got caught up in that moment and just going over the bit. It was just stupid. You know what I mean? It was like, look, the guy's bit was working. It was successful. And, uh, you know, it was just a dick move. And if he, if he, look, if he retired because maybe he was, ha whatever, that's his thing. But mm. I, I don't like that anything I did was a part of a guy feeling bad about what he's doing. Right. There you go. Jimmy. I don't like that at all. All right, Zito. And I regret it. And with that, we got, huh? It's not your responsibility. Fuck him how he feels. Yeah, but that's not true, though. I, I know it's not my responsibility, but it was still like when you say something and someone, it hurts somebody's feelings and uh, you were pissed at them, whatever it does, you did say it. And I, I, I can't look at that and go, he's being too sensitive. I get why he'd be pissed Jimmy's at that. Jimmy's got a little regret. That's all.
But I mean, uh, but I understand what Zito's saying. This guy's I have her for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand Zito too. I mean, th- th- this guy should have continued with his stand up. Absolutely. That had nothing to do with Jimmy. There, like Sherrod said earlier, there there had to be there had to be more going on in his head. He's a comedian. We all go like this. Should I stop? Yeah, <laughs> right. Whenever comedians really? hear something negative, it's really basically a confirmation of every shitty, insecure thought we've had. <laughs> yes. Like, and, yes. and believe me, you know, yes. m- if someone went on and criticized one of my bits, which they've done, I guess. You know, maybe I've just gotten more immune to it because the radio show, you're so used to fucking message boards and all these. Right. I'm told I stink a lot. (laughs) Um, You know, you become slightly immune to it. and You forget like that shit really hurts when you hear that. And uh, whatever. It was just something I regret. And I wish I had not done uh, the, two, the, the, only, the only couple of regrets I've ever had was shitting on Steve Martin in my books. I was too harsh on him. I don't regret criticizing him, but I was too harsh and he didn't deserve to be in a book that the tone was what it was. Right. Um, <laughs> what the fuck did you do to Steve? Martin? I just I just mocked him for doing the, uh, the Pink Panther. Yeah, Pink Panthers. But, but I was I was I was a little harsher than I should have been. Oh, because the books called hate your guts. Because I I hated the fact that he took on. I did too. But Peter just Sellers like that. Peter Sellers was a genius. I was just when it came shittier. Comedy, I was just right? shittier than I should have been. Right. Because the book I was I was angry when I wrote that book, and a lot of people got roped into that. Like, yeah, I should have made fun of the guy or handled it differently, but not like that. Uh, with some of them, with some of them, I'm happy I attacked Sharpton. I'm happy I attacked Jesse Jackson. Whoa, whoa! Why Pete. are you happy about all the black attacks? Well, you know, <laughs> sure. the guys that were like getting people fired for language and stuff like that. There's okay. certain people I feel yeah, really okay. good about attacking, but I just didn't feel good about. Name it. one white guy you're happy. Yes, with. I hit Hillary you know, Clinton pretty hard. Um, white guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> he actually <laughs> perfect. Derek Jeter, I hit pretty hard. Why um, Jeter? He's a black guy, first of all. Half well, and half. Half and half. Half and half. The half. baseball part that you like is the black part. But I wish I had. <laughs> That is true. The part where he blew me off, that was the white half. <laughs> I was there for that. That was yeah. a wonderful moment. Oh, uh, he blew you off real nice. I got blown off by Kobe Bryant like years ago. Oh, yeah, you said that. Uh, he broke my face beautifully. Right. Well, Derek Jeter deserved everything he got in Jim's book. That was what? a little rough. He wouldn't take a picture with Jimmy, but any other, any girl, any any girl, but most of them were really hot. He had no problem taking the picture. No, he wouldn't sign He's a photo of me and him. Me. It was just me and him. Oh, but by yourself. Wait, no, was that the time you brought the photo there? Yeah, yeah, I had a photo of me I and him. We were also trying to get another picture. I feel no, like. I just wanted them to sign the one gotcha. me and him. All right, I'm I didn't sorry. want a photo with him. Right, but whatever. It was, he was doing a charity event, and I was mooching off XM's. You know, I don't mind being angry, no. but I was. There's times where I look back and women? I was they unjustifiably mo- angry. But the women were dudes, mooching. They don't sign a lot of shit, athletes. When but you this wasn't for a for sale item. This was one of the. It was just him and a fat faced idiot. There was no. <laughs> who was I going to sell it to? And he doesn't know that we got our tickets for free through Eric Logan and XM. Right. So he had to assume that we paid a lot of money to be at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was a. Uh, what What was that? It was a dirt. Was it a dirt? Derek, nice Derek Cheater. Probably a uh, turn two or something. Something was called whatever his charity. Jeter charity, which with, with like tables of ten and you know top of the line food and drink and a lot maybe of celebrities G- there. Maybe Gene is a Craig Shoemaker fan. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't care for my rant. <laughs> you heard what you said, you bastard. Yeah, I encourage uh, Craig Shoemaker to call our show today. Yes. Yeah, they said that they asked him and he didn't want to call in, and maybe he just he's like fuck this guy. I mean, whatever he feels, but I would encourage him to call. I feel like let's uh, talk it out. Yes, and he might he might have anything to say to me. He might just be like you know, even if he wants to call and say fuck you, Jim Norton, that would be fine too. Or anybody yeah. want to call and say that? Just call I would deserve well. it. I would deserve it. <laughs> We're saving that for the nine o'clock hour, Sherrod. <laughs> okay, my bad. It just uh, wasn't nice. It just wasn't nice. It was. It wasn't a, a nice long thing. Time ago, though. I know. Right? I know. But he heard it last year. It wasn't a nice thing.